Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 31st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And always starting out here, looking at our sun, the last day of 2023, and we've seen lots of surprises throughout this year, and our sun is Got one more for us. A very large X-class solar flare occurred on our sun just recently, and it was from this cresting region right here. After some pretty large plasma filament eruptions on our sun, we had that earth-facing coronal hole. But watch this plasma filament down here created a large coronal mass ejection, and as well a tsunami on the sun as it slapped back into the surface. Same time, we had another filament eruption up here rip away and do the same thing total antipode opposite of the other one having a look at multi-spectrum this is where you will see a large flash coming on the left hand side here from the x-class solar flare deep coronal hole here and about five sunspots five sunspots that are earth facing right now Get another look here at sunspot regions. We've got a grouping here, and we've got one here, one here, a couple right here, and a couple turning away. But whatever just produced the X-class solar flare cresting in must be a large sunspot region, very complex. Having a look at the current space weather conditions, we are under R3 radio blackout impacts expected from this X-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 310 kilometers per second. And you can see here the solar X-ray flux showing a large spike from that X-class solar flare. We're going to watch the solar proton flux jump up as well. And currently geomagnetic activity, we're sitting at a KP2. Give you a quick browse at uh, Lasco 2. We'll try to set that up again as earlier on. We had a little, uh, little hiccup there and we had no audio on the microphone. So let's see if we can do this properly <laughs> and give you the update that you deserve. And thank you so much for your patience, your generosity in the comment section. I noticed that my messenger was going off during the first little bit of the stream but uh yeah i uh, didn't connect the two so thank you so much give you a quick look here at lasco 3 showing the last three days of, of events on our sun coronal mass ejection coming from the south the north and then again from the northeast and the south So multiple CMEs, not much has been thwarted our way except for the last couple CMEs. Right there. Yeah, we're going to get a taste of those CMEs as they come in. Having a look at the current ISWA space prediction spiral. We do have an event heading our way here for the 4th into the 5th. But right now we're clear with the coronal hole wind stream. So watch for solar winds to increase. And there's that large CME taking off, outgoing position. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. One day all magnitude. And largest across the world right now was a 5.3 in Bayan, China. As well, Nepal seeing a 4.6 earthquake. Deepest earthquake today was 4.6 magnitude, 503 kilometer depth in Fiji. And then we get to Hawaii here, where over the last 24 hours, they're only showing 22 earthquakes, but yesterday it was over 130. There was a huge swarm moving in a southeast fashion right down this rift and all around the caldera. But today it has since calmed down Give you a quick look here at the last seven days. 
We'll, we'll carry on here to North American soil. No major swarms to talk about, but peculiar activity all around the Los Angeles basin, Yorba Linda, California. Minor activity up into Idaho. As well, notable earthquake in Canada, uh, just north of Ottawa. 3.2 earthquake, Notre Dame de Mont Carmel, northwest of Ottawa. As well, notable here on the border with Sarnia and Michigan, Karuna, Canada, 2.4. This is the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest earthquake this week has been to 6.5 in Kurilsk, Russia. And not much is going to be changing in the way of weather. We're just now starting to see some snow in Ontario as things are starting to cool off. This is pretty much the coldest weather we've seen in the last, well, since winter started. And we were sitting at minus five with a wind chill. So that's nothing. And all across Canada right now, just strange weather, very abnormally warm conditions. We can thank the 11 million hectares that burned across Canada. We can also thank the 44 volcanoes that are erupting around the world, which is pretty much double the amount that was 10 years ago. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we will give you a full world update. Not too much is going on right now. We've still got large surf on the West Coast and another major system moving through. Big systems affecting Europe as well, all along the coastlines. Africa dealing with devastating flooding. Every continent is dealing with extreme weather events. As our climate has dipped into chaos during the climate cycle that it is currently going through. Brought to you by our sun. Solar cycle 25, which is a maximum now. Stay tuned because we're going to see some more big events just like this X-class solar flare that we saw today. Going to say hello to everybody and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. This has been a world update. Not too much to talk about for world weather, as I said, but I wanted to give you an update on the space weather events. Of course, this large X-class solar flare and as well the earthquakes yesterday. We were up and over 360 earthquakes, I do believe. 130 of them were on the Hawaiian island, so we're keeping an eye on the Kilauea volcano over the next little bit. Hello, Skills. Hello, Caterlin. Hello, Garth. Hello, Keto. Hello, everybody in the comment section. Thank you so much for your patience and your love to this channel. And Happy New Year. Stay safe out there tonight. Have some fun. And if you want, the earthquake live stream will still be kicking over the next 24 hours, hopefully, as long as nothing crashes. So much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. Happy New Year. We'll see you in the new year, 2024. Ready for more. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.